What's up guys, welcome back, Rebecca from Cyberpunk Edge Runners, Patreon request from Emmanuel. So let's go, landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause. If I go too fast, portrait of her, real big eyes. So, center point here, <clears throat> come up over to the right, start with her big top eyelid line. And we're just gonna go with a big curve. So we'll like curve it down like that just to get it started. And then we'll thicken it up a bit. So like, you'll just go over the top again, just to make it like slightly thicker line. And then we wanna add like, there's some eyelashes like sticking up here. Two or three, not that much. So her actual eyeball, so it like curves down this way, right? And then they add like the tear ducts sort of sticking out there. And then another curves around, big round eyes, like that. So her iris and pupil aren't drawn in black line. <clears throat> they are pink and green, but we got to draw them in because we won't know where they are. And they're huge, right? Big doll-like eyes, this character. So curving around here. Like so. And then the pink circle inside, somewhere in the middle. This would technically be her pupil. Right, and that's pink in here and then green out there and then like it's orange on the outside. So there's no white at all. So we have a bit of an eyelid line, not much. And then her eyebrow, quite small. Up there. Do, do, do. Now, see, she has some lines around her eyes, right? That's cyberpunk style. So it just comes around like this. Like that. <clears throat> So now we'll go over and we'll do her other eye. Same thing, pretty much mirror image. Doesn't have to be exact same, but more or less, right? So about an eye width, an eye will fit in between. And then you go just across, about eye will fit in there. And you go down again and you thicken it up. And add some eyelashes, two or three, just along the top there. And then that curvy round eyeball, starting here. And they actually add the tear ducts, like the other side. And then around bottom eyelid line, just coming up here. So they're quite big eyes now. Kind of look like lemons, sort of. And again, we're drawing that green circle and the pink circle in between. Green one first, sort of curving around like that. And then the pink one, quite large as well, inside. Eyelid line. <clears throat> and then eyebrow, curve line on top. And then you need a space to color in. So you want to just add a line going diagonally back and then we'll bring it down to a point spiky on the end. So fat on this side, skinny on this side. And then we have some more cyberpunk style lines on her face, those sort of robotic style sections. I've seen them drawn like differently, different sort of scenes of her, so you could mix it up if you wanted, if you weren't happy with the way I was doing it. So. <laughs> so then, right, her nose, pretty simple. Like between these, 
this these lines from her eye. It's like just a little curve like that. And then she has a standard sort of smiling mouth, right? So it kind of like curves up here. And then you could leave a little gap if you wanted. Curves up like that. And her lipstick is purple, but it's done with color. It's not drawn in. So she has a very round childlike sort of face, right? So curves around kind of like a wine glass. There's no chin really, like technically she has a chin, but it's just one sort of curve line. See if I marked there, right? But this like, like a, <clears throat> like real round, like a ball nearly, just curves around here. So we just go up this side first. And then we'll attempt to go this way. Okay, more or less like that. <clears throat> a little bit of a gap, and then we have a V for her sideburns of her hair. And then her hair is sort of pinned back, right? But it, we have her ears here first. Her hair like continues that way. So like her hair is like tied, but her ears come out from there. So they curve around, down, kind of. When a character is facing forward like this, the earlobes usually line up with like the tip of the nose or some section of the nose. And then the top of the ear lines up with the top eyelid or the eyebrow, depends. But usually in this space across here. There is a bit of wiggle room with that. You don't have to be exact. Ear lines, easiest way, letter J, and that's actually how they do it in Cyberpunk. They don't complicate it. So then her hair is like tied back, right? So we've got this little sort of V here. And the general rule is like the nose. So let's say like the size of the nose here, say from this little mark to our eyelashes is about the same as eyelashes to that V. It's like the size of her forehead. And then we have some like texture lines for the hair that curve down like so. And then we do the same thing over here. And that's her hairline. So in her, her, she, it looks like she has this, what would you, like a headband, like on her head, right? So we've got her hair here, <clears throat> coming up to about there, right? And they're kind of like bunny ears, I guess, right? So, but sort of robot <laughs> bunny ears, right? They're kind of like angled going this way and down to there right but it's like a it's like a little hairband kind of thing right so it's like ears and then they curve across the middle but they just kind of come across here and then she has bumps for her hair in the middle of this right so there's like a little v here and it's like her fringe, but it's it's her hair sticking up above the headband, just a bit. And then this headband, but it's probably actually like part of her brain or something. Because <laughs> it's cyberpunk. And then there's a little bit of an edge line here. And there's like a yellow coloring in this sort of rectangle. <clears throat> and there's like little detail lines here, but I don't know what they signify. I bet if it was a more detailed image, they'd draw it in. So her, we've got like some hair that kind of like bumps around the back here. And then her ponytail sort of sticks down. Well, it's just two. Sort of go down this way. 
behind her jacket. So I'll draw it in, but it, it disappears sort of behind the collar of her jacket. You might have a little hairline there or something. Okay, neck, jacket, and other things. So neck, very thin, here. Or like. And then her trapezius. Diagonal that way. She's got a massive jacket on. <clears throat> so a real big collar. Curves here. From her ears, right? And then this will go down. Like so. Changing pens. Okay, and then this comes back around. Kind of reminds me of kind of like Naruto. I don't know if you watch Naruto, but you know the the ninja sort of colors. It's got these big ends to them. Colors there. And this one sort of same on that side. And there's like a black sort of thing. <laughs> it's a nice description. There's a black thing. And then a green glowing sort of light, I think. There. And maybe there's like holes in this on the end here. So this jacket comes, steps down a couple of times, like angled sort of patterns to a V there. And then she has a bra, I think, here. So like she would have some lines kind of there. Not much though. And then she has this red tattoo. Now, again, it's not drawn in black line, but I would do it in black line just so we know where everything is. So it's like a skeleton face. It's interesting. Right, so it's like going down that way. And there's like all these teeth. Right, and then the eyes are X's. So basically this. Right, you don't have to be perfect with them because they're they're not perfect in the show and then there's a spiky spine like thing like that okay <laughs> so <clears throat> big jacket shoulders and lots of like vents and details and all this kind of thing We'll do this side first because it's kind of simpler than the other side. So we've got like a little vent here or a hole or a light. I'm not really sure it's green. So, and then this seems to like go off that way. The other side's a bit more complicated. It starts like this, but there's like extra things over here. So it comes down, bit of a gap for that, another greenish yellow light but this side right so this side has like kind of armor I guess so it kind of like comes out down right <clears throat> but this appears to have an inside so it like comes around up like that and then you do that again three times so one, two. Do one more. So it's just kind of like steps. Steps of a stairs or something just going down that way. And then it meets, I guess you'd call it her elbow, but it's the jacket fold going that way. And then this has some more sort of dark black areas. 
and then like some steps going down this way. Right, and it like disappears into the jacket there. Because she got her hands in her pockets, right? So you go to her elbows and then it goes in that way. And then the inside of her jacket, so it comes diagonal this way, and then around her body, down basically to there. And this as well. Down that way. <clears throat> and then there's all details along the arms and in here as well. So we've got like two yellow or green holes, vents, or something to that extent. And we got like some little sort of detail lines here. Joins that. Boom. Um, this section seems to have like an extra little line that way. And then it joins this. Complicated jacket. Little vents here. And here. Fence, yeah, here. And more stuff here. Ba -ba -bum. It goes up that way. Curves again. It goes around here, maybe. Looks like there might be another line, but I, I don't really know where that goes. <clears throat> it's not clear. Then that goes down that way. And some fold lines in our jacket. And my friends, that is how to draw Rebecca from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.